Welcome back, folks. You know, Music Fest founder John Dixon plays host to one of the cooler festival experiences every year in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. This year's event was another massive success. Well, let's go check it out. Well, this is our 20th year as a music fest. It's a combination of, of sport and song, if you want to call it that. But it is, it's an amazing amount of talent coming together in a beautiful, majestic setting in the Rockies up in Steamboat, Colorado, uh, where everybody comes together and the fans and the musicians and uh, the community all embrace this whole, this festival on a level that uh, is different than most festivals I've seen. And having it here in the beautiful, uh, as you see in this background, this is why we're here. Plus this community, it was a ranching community first before it was a ski resort. And they embraced this festival because they both share the same genuine feel for the setting and the, the music. And that's what makes this so, so special to be here in Steamboat. It's magical. It's, it's the greatest thing I get to do, be involved in every year. Uh, there, there's times throughout the year when I've experienced things that I think, oh, that might be my favorite thing to happen this year. And then I end up going back to Steamboat and going, ah. This is why I love going here, so I've been here for 11 years straight. We're adding new music where we feel like it's right. We're not trying to expand the size of the festival. We're just, the people are here to hear music. And so when we have an opportunity to, to showcase more music, we take advantage of that. And uh, like the Dung Beetle Saloon, you know, that started out three years ago three or four hours of live music. Now we have 12 hours and it's still not enough, but it's one of the most popular rooms and it's a listening room. It's one where everybody get to hear the, maybe the front guy for the band tell his story about his song. And, and uh, you know, there's a lot of humor in those things too. So there's a lot of fun. And people are really enjoying those different venues. And of course we have the big tent, which is you know, what we call the dance hall, where everybody can go kick up their heels and hear the full plugged in shows as the ballroom and the Bear River during the day, the outdoor stage. You know, you know that was we used to do one or two shows outdoors. Now we have four full days of shows. Uh, Jack Ingram uh, has played out there for 10 years, and I've seen him playing six degree weather to a beautiful day like today. When it's it's, uh, it, I mean, this is a perfect day for an outdoor show, which we have two great bands out there today. We've gone to Steamboat for probably, I think my 14th or 15th year, like last year was the 12th or so year we've gone up there as the whole band. And it's our favorite year, or our favorite week of the year. We go up there and uh, spend a week, get to hang out with all of our buddies. And um, you know, it's where we met a lot of the people in the scene. And it's where we got to know a lot of them. We, you know, it's, I'm sure it's everybody's favorite week. You know? All the musicians look forward to it. John and Robin really go above and beyond with everything. They make sure everybody's having a good time, especially the artists, you know, they take really good care of us. The Dixon production crew takes really good care of everybody. Get to go up there and party and hang out, see a lot of great music, just a lot of jam sessions. Some people ski. I do a little bit of that and um, yeah, it seems like it gets a little bit different every year, you know. It's, we don't party quite as hard as we used to, but we party as, as hard as we can. <laughs> I love Steamboat for everything it, everything it is, everything it wants to be, everything that it it's not. I mean, I just, I love everything about it. And uh, I love being surrounded by groups of musicians and, and people that truly love music for the right reasons. And it's not money or autographs or any of that. It's just strictly music. By the time we, we go through the week and do all the stuff that we do and leave that weekend, it just feels like we've gone to church and it feels like we're born again and ready to tackle the rest of the year. It's, it's definitely grown and changed over the years, but now, the community that follows this festival is probably one of the most inspiring and wonderful things about the festival. It's such a wonderful group of people. Uh, I attribute that to the musicians because that's to their fans, uh, but it also is through, uh, through each other. This is a reunion for many groups. So it's, it has so many elements and so many things that make this festival so much fun. 
God bless you. We love you all with all our hearts. Take care of each other. We'll see you next time. Amen.